हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट इन लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न थेरी कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट एंड टू एग्जांपल्स सो व्हाट इज अ ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट इट इज वन ऑफ द वेब कंट्रोल ऑफ एसपी डॉट नेट एंड इट इज होल्डिंग द लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स एंड फ्रॉम द लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स वी कैन सिलेक्ट अ सिंगल आइटम दैट इज अ यूज ऑफ ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट नाउ इन दिस एग्जांपल यू विल सी दिस इज अ ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट कंटेनिंग the subject values let's see its items asp.net uh, text value is asp.net second item text cloud computing and value cloud computing then advanced java uh, iom and project so these are some courses offered for your third year class uh, these are the list of the courses among that we can select one of the course so say okay another that enable post at a post back uh, that you know that if we click on this one once we select the item that data will be transferred to server now uh, there are different buttons you can see with the help of these buttons we will perform different functionality uh, which are the different uh, events or the properties that we can call uh, we can select a particular text that value we can display we can select uh, the value that has been selected Now uh, by this drop down list, we can find out the index number that has been selected. We can clear that particular index. Then we can add uh, some content to this drop down list uh, through the button click. Uh, this uh, data will be added at the end of the list. Remove the same that we can remove the item. Then insert at index. So here at a particular index we can insert item. Uh, for example uh, index starts from 0 that you know uh, and we want to insert at index number 2 so here we can write a code uh, inserting item at index number 2 that we will see right now and uh, if we want to remove a particular item from that index then that is also possible so these are the different methods that we can perform with the help of this drop down list in last example just we have seen that which item has been selected and its a text value has been printed with the help of the label so this label has been taken uh, to print the values uh, that will be performed with the help of any of this button functionality now let's see it's a source part first so this is a source code here you can see uh, this one these are the different buttons and button id run at server and on click event so when we click on the button then it's a back end code c sharp code will be get executed so every button will be having on click event now if we go to the design part uh, let me show you the properties of some buttons so proper go to the properties this is a text and event this is a click event and for the click event you can see uh, this method this function will get called button count 1 underscore click so in the same way if you go to the next button you will see it's a click event now let's see it's a coding part c sharp so drop down list c sharp so this is the code uh, these are the different button click event so button selected text underscore click so here label 2 dot text will be assigned with a text plus uh, concatenated with drop down list 1 uh, this is our drop down list and with the selected item uh, dot text the text value will be assigned to this label dot text along with this uh, text string so that will be concatenated if we want to find out the selected value if we click on the selected value then now uh, for that the function is selected value mm, along with this drop down list one object uh, so that will be uh, assigned with the text to the label 2 dot text then next one uh, if we find out the index number then drop down list one dot selected index you can see here uh, it will be assigned to the text so we have to first of all convert into string uh, as it is in the integer format so convert not by the help of two string function and then it will be assigned to label 2 dot text then if we want to clear uh, this drop down list data then use dot clear and for that use the items function drop down list 1 dot items dot clear uh, it will be clear 
and table 2.txt it is assigned with the list box uh, sorry the drop down list here you can change drop down list box clear so it will just print a message uh, suppose we want to add some content at the end of that list drop down list so here just add drop down list one dot icons dot add php uh, so this php text will be added at the end of drop down list and here label two dot text it will just print the data as item added if you want to remove it uh, write down the item that you want to remove php this text and it will be get removed for removing uh, then if we want to insert an item at a particular index so 2 it is an index number so at 2 index number we can add this item this text that is a python that will be it added and if we want to remove from a particular index number then uh, write down drop down list 1 dot items and that items containing one of the properties as a remove at and you can remove from the index number 2 this item will be removed if we want to count how many items are there in this drop down list then write down drop down list 1 uh, that is your id dot items dot count and that count will be in an integer format so convert it into the string and then assign to level 2 dot text now let's run this program and let's see the output this is an output here uh, this one your drop down list asp.net cloud iom adventure and project list items now if i select cloud computing and say selected text you can see text is cloud computing if i select advanced java and say selected value then it's a value is a advanced java then suppose i want to see the index of project say index index number is a four as it is starting from zero so ASP.NET index is 0, Cloud Computing 1, Advanced Java 2, IOM 3 and Project is a 4. So that is the correct one. If I want to add uh, a new content at the end of that list, say add, item added. Let's see whether it is added or not. Yes, the last one PHP has been added. Mm -hmm. If I want to see the index number, see index is a 5. Mm -hmm. Then uh, if I want to remove, say remove, let's check. Yes, PHP has been removed because we have specified that item then uh, insert at index so i clicked on that button see python has been added at index number two as asp is having index number zero cloud two uh, one and python is at a two now if we want to remove i clicked on the remove at index now let's check yes that item has been removed from index number two if we want to count the total number of items, click on the count. So total number of items are the five in that drop down list. If you want to clear it, say clear. So drop down list has been clear. There is no items right now. If you want to add, say add. Now one item has been added as in a PHP. Now this is an output of this program. So I will upload this program on the Moodle and try to perform this program. Now we will see the next one about how to bind that drop down list when we are loading a page with the help of data bind function first we will see the coding part this is in a design view once we drag this uh, drop down list then it is in a unbound it means nothing has been bounded no list items are present within this drop down list uh, button with the help of uh, button click event that data will be assigned over there and label one it will print it with the help of this button and with the page load uh, data will be assigned and that will be printed with this button mm, let's see it's a source part this is in a source part so a drop down list has been dropped over here dragged over here and there is no any single item you can see button one and there is one event as an on click button one underscore click label uh, enabled is false means when we run this program first of all uh, this button is uh, sorry the label is not enabled it is a disabled mode 
once you assign some value then it will get appear now let's see uh, it's a c sharp code okay so this is an c sharp code when we are loading a page then uh, one array list has been taken and for that we required a package as in a using systems dot collections so array list with object values created and uh, items are added as item 1 2 3 4 5 6 and when we are loading a page these items will be get added and then after adding these items drop down list 1 dot data source is equal to values so these values will be assigned to this data source and then it will be binded with the help of the data bind function next function is here button click event button 1 underscore click here you can see uh, if that selected index is greater than minus 1 means having some of the values then uh, this label 1 dot text uh, will be assigned with this selected item dot text so this uh, selected items value will be assigned to this label 1 if we are selecting any of the value so at the run time when we are loading a page this value will be get added and it will be get displayed with the help of the button function so let's run this program drop down list binding example view in the browser so see here uh, this is your drop down list and when we are running this one these items has been loaded but in the design view you can see there is a no single item it is showing as an unbound drop down list so item 6 up to item 6 has been added there is a button we even we have added the label but the label property enabled as in a false so suppose i am selecting item 4 or item 5 and click on the button you chose item 5 now the label has been activated then 6 item 6 has been chose item 1 item 1 has been chose so in this way also we can bind the data to that drop down list so in these two videos we learned about what is a drop down list uh, and concept of drop down list which are the different examples how to select the items how to display the items with the help of at a post back method with the help of the button and uh, which are the different uh, functions are available just like uh, selecting an index and displaying that index counting number of drop down list then we learned about how to clear uh, that all that content of drop down list how to remove any item how to add item how to insert item at a particular index uh, then how to remove at an index um, finding out the index of selected item then selected value and selected text so these are the some methods that we have learned for the drop down list i will upload this code on moodle and you can go through this code, go through this code and try all these examples now we will stop here and thank you